Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You might remember that I have made a video on how to find square. That video got more than 2 lakhs views. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And in this video, we are going to see how to find square root of a non-perfect square number. So let's start. Now here I have a number 83 and we want to find out the square root of this 83. So first step is you just take a number which is close to this number 83 and which is a perfect square number. So clearly the number 81 is a perfect square number which is close to 83, right? Now you write this 83 as 81 plus 2. Now the next step is you just take square root of this 83 which is equal to we know that square root of this 81 is 9 right so you just write this 9 over here this is our first step now the second important thing is whenever we thought of this 83 so 83 is in between 81 and 100 right so i have something here right 9 plus something must be the square root of this 83 so we will find out what is that something so for that you just take this 2 as it is this 2 and divide this by 2 times this number which is 2 times 9 right now just simplify this this is the our answer so simplify this this is just 9 plus 1 by 9 right and this is just equal to 0.11 so our answer is 9.11 so square root of 83 is 9.11 now similarly we can find out the square root of this 78 now take this number 78 now 78 is in between 64 and 81 these are the perfect square numbers and 78 is lies in between these two numbers so you take 81 and 64 now which is the closest number to this 78 which is clearly 81 right but here we just have to focus on this part when we write this 81 we have to subtract something to get this 78 which is clearly 3 right so what is the next step you just write this 78 in the square root which is equal to now you find out the square root of this number which is 9 square root of 81 is 9 now the next step is you just take this minus 3 as it is so minus 3 now just divide this number by 2 times this number which is 2 times 9 now simplify this so this is just 9 minus 1 by 6 right now this 1 by 6 is just equal to 0.166 and so on so this is approximately equal to 0.17 right so we just have to take this as 9 minus 0.17 therefore square root of this 78 is just equal to 8.83 easy you might wonder why am i doing this so there is a concept called linear approximation in higher mathematics which uses derivatives and if you want the proof of this then let me know in the comment box i will give you the proof in the next video so let us find square root of 346 how to simplify this number square root 346 so here is a trick you can write this 346 as 3.46 times 100 right and we want square root of this right now why am i doing this is there is a reason we can find out square root of 100 which is 10 right easily so we can write this as 3.46 square root is just square root of 100 right and which is just 10 so we just have to find out square root of 3.46 right now by using the previous method we can find out square root of this number so here we just write 3.46 as it is so as done before you write 3.46 
Now the closest perfect square number which is close to this 3.46 is clearly 4. So write 4 minus something which is equal to 3.46. So clearly this is 0.54 right. So to find out square root of this 3.46 we just have to take square root of this number right which is 2. Now here is a minus sign so you take minus you take this number as it is which is 0.54 now divide by 2 times this number right so 2 times this number 2 now simplify this so it is 2 minus 0.54 by 4 which is 2 minus 0.135 and which is approximately equal to 1 4 which is same as 1.86 now this square root is same as 1.86 so you just take into 10 so this is 1 18.6 right so answer to this is 18.6 now let us find out square root of 36522. This is quite a big number. So let us find square root of this. So first thing is you write this number as square root of 365.22 times 100. Right. Now you write this as times 10. Right. Now let us find square root of 365.22. So for this let us write 365.22 now perfect square number which is closest to 365.22 is clearly which is 361 which is a square of 19 so you write 361 plus 4.22 so this gives 365.22 now to find out square root of this we just have to focus on this part so what is square root of this which is 19 right now here is a plus sign so you take plus now take this 4.22 as it is and divide this by 2 times this number 19 right so 2 times 19 which is 2.11 and divided by 19 so which is approximately equal to 19 plus 0.111 and so on so here this is just equal to 19.11 right so this answer is just 19.11 times 10 which is 191.1 so square root of 36522 is just 191.1 I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching this video.